entrance in a time. I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them. And I will be their Lord forever. Good morning. Good morning. This morning's Mass has been offered for us and our families, and in particular, Beverly Fry and Ruth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Uh, as an additional Mass intention today, we are praying for uh, Kathy Florio, who uh, was supposed to begin surgery this morning at 7.30 a.m. A six uh, bypass heart surgery, and also replacement of a heart valve. So obviously very serious surgery, so we want to keep Kathy in prayer, keep her doctors in prayer, her husband Alan and their children. Kathy's such a wonderful person and such a great contributor in our community. So may God give her healing during her surgery today. Let's come before the Lord now to confess our sins and so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, on the 21st day of the seventh month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Tell this to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Sheatil, and to the high priest Joshua, son of Jehozadak, and to the remnant of the people. Who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory? How do you see it now? Does it not seem like nothing in your eyes? But now take courage, Zerubbabel, says the Lord, and take courage, Joshua, high priest, son of Jehoshaphat, and take courage, all the people of the land, says the Lord, and work. For I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. This is the pact that I made with you when you came out of Egypt, and my spirit continues in your midst. Do not fear. For thus says the Lord of hosts, One moment yet, a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations, and the treasures of all the nations will come in. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. Mine is the silver, and mine the gold, says the Lord of hosts. Greater will be the future glory of this house than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give you peace, says the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Do me justice, O God, and fight my fight against the faithless people. From the deceitful and impious man, rescue me. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. For you, O God, are my strength. Why do you keep me so far away? Why must I go about in mourning with the enemy oppressing me? Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Open God, and I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. Open God, and I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Alleluia, Alleluia. The 
Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, one of our parishioners went down to Lafitte yesterday just to check things out, as we have a group that's going in tomorrow to do... Uh, hurricane storm remediation work and to also to serve food and he said oh father it is just unbelievable as you cross over the bridge to come into Lafitte you just see devastation everywhere he said it's, it's kind of overwhelming and that's exactly the feeling of the uh, Israelites that was described yesterday and today in the book of the prophet Haggai uh, they had been uh, in exile away from Israel for 50 years in, in, uh, in Babylon. Uh, the Babylonian army with King Nebuchadnezzar had overrun the city of Jerusalem and destroyed everything, including the great temple of Solomon. And they had stolen all the silver, the gold, the vessels, the utensils, everything. And uh, Israel lay in ruins, and the temple in ruins. And the people came back and they were, they were depressed and they felt overwhelmed. And they started to try as best they could to rebuild their houses. And as we heard yesterday, God said, oh no, you won't. You will, you will build the temple first. And he told them, you go to the woods and you get wood and you come back and you build a small makeshift temple so that my presence can be with you. Won't be like the great temple of Solomon, but you desperately need my presence in your life. And so they built the temple. And then today's uh, gospel, now a little bit of time has, uh, today's reading from Haggai, a little bit of time has passed. And, uh, and so the Lord says through Haggai, he says, who among you saw this house, this temple in its former glory? Probably not too many people after 50 years had lapsed. And how do you see it now? Does it seem like nothing in your eyes? But take courage, Zerubbabel, and take courage, Joshua. Take courage, all you people of the land, for I am the Lord, and I am the Lord, I am with you. And I am going to remake this temple and fill this house with glory, for all the silver and gold is mine, and greater will be the future glory of this house than the former, and in this place I will give you peace. So these are words of great encouragement for the people as they have to rebuild their devastated city. How appropriate these readings are in our time when people are facing the rebuilding of their homes and businesses and lives after a hurricane. But you know, this really, this readings really can uh, relate to anything going on in our life that is a hard blow or a devastation, an illness for someone that we love. Uh, a family trial or, or tragedy or trauma. So many things happen that make us feel completely overwhelmed. We, we survey the landscape and we go, how can I possibly fix this? How can I possibly repair this? And the Lord says, I'll be with you in the middle of it. Whatever it is, I'll be with you. And uh, if you invite me into the middle of it, in the end, it will be for my glory and it will even be better. That's the promise that the Lord makes to us, and that's a, a, a fantastic promise to hear. Because as the uh, responsorial psalm says, hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. So uh, let's lift up a prayer for all of those who are, have that sense of being overwhelmed, of the, the, the tower residents across the street, 
Where am I going to live? Where am I going to put all this stuff? Who's going to take this for me? How am I going to afford to pay another rent plus keep paying my note on this plus pay the condo fee? Uh, many people feel overwhelmed. And uh, God says, if you bring me into it and make prayer and worship the center of all this, I will take care of everything. That's the Lord's promise. So uh, let's give the Lord an opportunity to fulfill that promise in our lives and in the lives of others. Let's now bring our prayers and needs to God, our Heavenly Father. For the church on earth, may we increase in faith and number. Let us pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God instill in them the virtues necessary to lead with truth and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all essential workers, may the Lord bless them with fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate and nice diocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the intercession of Our Lady of Palm Succor, we may be spared the loss of life and damage to property during this hurricane season, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for those who are recovering from Hurricane Ida, that they will have spiritual and emotional strength and encouragement, plus the physical resources needed for recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our dear parishioner, Kathleen Lorio, as she undergoes a complex heart surgery this morning, that uh, God may bring her healing through the work of her physicians and for uh, support and strengthening of her and her family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now for our family, for our coronavirus prayer, and into that, and then our family prayer. Lord Jesus, you travel through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. Come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus, May they regain their strength and health. Bring those who have died from the virus to eternal peace. Protect doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals as they help the sick. Allow the vaccine to be successful in halting the spread of the virus. Be with the leaders of nations. Give them wisdom to act with true concern for their people. Grant us peace in this time of uncertainty and challenge. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus. For you are our loving and healing Lord. Our Lady of Ramsar, St. Joseph, St. Francis Xavier, St. Brock, and St. Lily, pray for us. Amen. Loving and faithful God, through the years the people of our Archdiocese have appreciated the prayers and love of Our Lady of Ramsar in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, Father, with Mary, our mother, and ask you to help us in the battle today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build a community founded on the values of Jesus, which gives respect and life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may form their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may be peacemakers in our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. We ask this in Christ our Lord. Our Lady of Pumsacor, hasten to help us. Father Henry and to Leo, I pray for us that we may be a holy family. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our bishop, his fellow bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You have laid down your precepts to be carefully kept. May my ways be firm in keeping your statutes.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So today is our golf tournament, and uh, happy to say that because of the generosity of parishioners, we have 20 teams of four. Uh, they were hoping for 18, and we've got 20, so we're thrilled. It's a beautiful day for a golf tournament. Tomorrow, uh, members of our community will be going to Lafitte, Louisiana to do manual labor cleanup and also to serve food. So we thank all of those who will be going tomorrow. Uh, we used a little bit of money that we had from some of our, a couple of our ministries that help people and also from gifts that you all have given us. We have been able to give out so far over $29,000 in hurricane relief. So thank you for your generosity. That's directly from gifts that you're providing to our church. Final announcement is we need a substitute for the Adoration Chapel for one o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, Saturday, 1 p.m. tomorrow. If you are able to take that hour from 1 to 2 p.m., please see Dottie Watson in the back of the church. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Enjoy the weather and have a wonderful weekend. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world. Amen.